What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the Microsoft Surface Duo and some of its shortcomings and ways to get around those shortcomings. As you know, it's a very polarizing device. People either love it or they hate it. And I'm in the camp of loving it. I'm very much looking forward towards the release of this device. And if you know anything about this device, some of the shortcomings that it has is it doesn't have expandable storage. Some people really want a micro SD card. So we're gonna go into that, how you can get around that. It might have a small battery. We're gonna talk about how you can get around that. Maybe it doesn't have enough protection and so much more. So we're gonna talk about all of those things in this video. So let's jump right into this. Now I got this idea from a Windows Central article because they've said no NFC payment with the Microsoft Surface Duo use a smartwatch. And I was like, man, there's a couple of things that are shortcomings for this device. And I'm gonna go start off with what they said. Uh, NFC, you wanna do those payments, get a smartwatch. And they list a bunch of smartwatches that do have NFC. And if you're on the Fitbit side, you can get the Versa, three cents, the Versa 2, the Inspire 2, and a bunch of others. Also, Samsung Pay is compatible with Galaxy Active 2, Galaxy Watch Active, or the new Galaxy Watch 3. Google Pay can do Fossil 5, or one of the other watches, Garmin Pay as well. And there's multiple, multiple ways, you know, in order to get around not having NFC within that Microsoft Surface Duo in terms of getting specific watches. So any of those watches will work. If I were you, the best watches, usually from time to time, at least in review, and things like that it usually the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 I would personally probably go that route or get one of their cheaper ones that are a little bit older like the Watch Active 2 or something like that but ultimately I think those are probably the best watches to get and Samsung Pay works basically everywhere just like Google Pay does as well so if you see Google Pay you should definitely be able to also use Samsung Pay they also gave an example of uh, rings that have NFC in them but they're too expensive. Like one of the ones they mentioned is like 350 bucks. Just get a watch. The watch is going to be able to show you workout information, the time, all kinds of other notifications, so much more information than a, than a, than a ring would. So don't even go the ring route. Go the watch route, you'll get so much more out of it. What about the battery on the Surface Duo? It's rated at 3577 milliamps, which is, let's be honest, it's pretty small. And then you look at something like, you know, this phone, which is a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which has a 4,500 milliamp battery. So there's a considerable difference between those two phones and batteries. Also remember the Surface Duo has to power two displays at once. So it's probably gonna use a lot of battery. What's the workaround with it? Pretty simple, get a battery bank. Battery banks are easily purchasable on Amazon. I'll link uh, one down below that I like. I do like the Anchor products. They're reliable. They're a big brand name uh, on Amazon and they make great products. And for you know 25 bucks, you can basically get 10,000 milliamps and you can shop around, get something bigger, smaller, whatever you want. But I love the Anchor stuff. So that's the ones I would recommend. And you'll be able to keep your Surface Duo charged up, use it and you know do whatever you want with it. Obviously carrying around a battery bank and walking around with the phone is not gonna be super comfortable. But if you're lying around the house, or if you're, you know, it's a, you're in your car, you could use a car charger, or if you're on a train, use the battery bank. There's all kinds of ways to keep this thing powered up so that you never run out of battery. Now the Surface Duo doesn't come with a case per se, but it comes with like a bumper case, a white bumper case, which I guess protects it for the most part, but there's really, at the time I'm making this video, not any specific cases that you can purchase for this phone, but I highly expect cases to be out around the time this phone is released or shortly thereafter. And when they are, there's a multitude of ways these things could go. You're looking at, there could potentially be battery cases where your Surface Duo goes into this case, which also has a battery built into it, which should give you extended battery life. There's cases that potentially could give you IP68 just in water resistance so that you could use this thing underwater or who knows, the, the, the ways of cases that could do things, and some of this is hypothetical because maybe none of these cases will come out, but I would assume some kind of case should come out, at least in the protective side, to protect this from drops and things like that. What about no expandable storage? Well, there's a workaround for that as well. That's what's great about Android and even iPhone as well, is that 
There's basically, if, there, if you can't do something or you want something your phone to be able to be, you can usually do it with an accessory and expandable storage is no different. So what you can do is you can buy one of these little OTG USB-C adapters and what those do is they plug into the bottom of the USB-C port on the phone and then what you would do is buy some kind of thumb drive or adapter as well, plug it into the USB side of this uh, OTG adapter and you have expandable storage. Samsung has one right here which is their Samsung Fit Plus 3.0 flash drive and you get 128 gigabytes of storage for 20 bucks or if you want 256 it's 40 or if you want something less it's cheaper than that as well but that's a great route to go if you want more storage for your phone but you don't want to pay, maybe pay for 256 or maybe 256 isn't enough you can go this route also what you could do is use cloud storage use uh, Microsoft's uh, OneDrive or uh, Google's uh, G Drive or D Dropbox or something else to transfer files back and forth to your device to offload some of that storage that's taken up on your phone. And my last workaround for the Surface Duo, you don't have a headphone jack. It also does not come with headphones, so you won't be able to plug in USB-C headphones out of the box. You'd have to either use ones you already have or purchase USB-C headphones. But the alternative to all of that is just to get wireless buds or just wireless headphones at that. Now, if you want headphones, I would recommend some, some very inexpensive ones from Anchor. They're the Q20s, they're 50 bucks basically. They sound awesome and they have active noise cancellation. Very good volume, very good sound overall. I can't recommend them enough. They're awesome headphones. Go that route if you want rig, big you know, traditional headphones over your ears. Otherwise, if you want earbuds, you know, the ones that are just true wireless buds that go in your ears and that's it with no wire, get the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. They're $169.99. They sound amazing. Talking on the phone sounds amazing. For me, they're the best bang for your buck in terms of wireless buds. They're awesome sounding. They're compatible with Android and iOS, and they're definitely going to work with your Microsoft Surface Duo. And obviously with the headphones or these Galaxy Buds, you could also uh, talk on the phone. So if you don't wanna hold that big Surface Duo up to your ear, use your headphones and you'll be able to work around that and talk on the phone wirelessly and just move around like you would want. So there you guys go. If you're interested in any of the products I talked about, they're linked in the description down below. Also, if you have any ideas of improving uh, in terms of things that are missing accessory wise that we could add on to this to make the Surface Duo even better or more compatible in different ways, let us know in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.